place is Jide. Otherwise known as Baba Jide Sonwo Waifi. Jide lives in Shomolu, Lagos State, Nigeria. When we met Jide, This is what Jide has to say. Actually, I didn't finish my school. I stopped at premises due to my condition. That is why I couldn't go further. Because when I stopped at premises, and after that, when my result came out, I'm, 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 I'm the top, I'm the top, like I finished at the top so i couldn't go further just to number one because of my condition and number two there's no money to go further that is why i stopped i'm just 28 this year you are 28 this, this year. year may may 18 1994 okay. 1992 1992 may may 18 18 so that means that last week was your birthday yes sir. that's when you turned 28 28 yes, sir. Get back to me. She used to, she used a drug that really affected my bones because it, when they when he used the drug, he wanted to abort the pregnancy. But actually, God in His merciful, it could not that it, it it did not happen. So and the drug affected my bones. The lesson that when I was ten years, I was just like 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 four years old because it my bones were soft. If I carried my hands, it would break. Because I could not even sit down. Even the doctor said that they should not back me due to the condition because they said my neck could break some somehow. Sure. But since then I could not continue because I well for me to stand very well, I was twenty years when I started working perfectly. You were twenty years when I started working perfectly. 20. Have you ever seen a person that started working at the age of 20? Just when he was uh, given back to, I'm, I'm sure he must have uh, told you about how he came, I mean, when he was born, the mother attempted um, aborting the pregnancy. So that really affected the, the bone structure. So ever since then, you couldn't you know, work normally as a um, uh, no, I mean every other child, you know. So he started growing with it, and at the same time, there were a lot of um, accidents, injuries, mean here falling, you know, rising, and all that. So that was the way he had been growing up. But we just thank God that he was able to, I mean, get over it for some time, you know, and. Um, I did not know her because when, after the two weeks, after the two weeks, she gave back to me. I did not know, her, but I just know just a little bit. I don't know her name because she's she's Elizabeth. That's what I know about her, and she's short. 
that's what I know about her. I know that and I don't know. With the help of my mom, she called grandma, grandmother. You know, she was the one that was involved in uh, early development. You no, know? think uh, since the mother abandoned her, so it was the grandmother that took charge of him. So taking him to the hospital with the late father. She told my grandma, she told my grandma that she wants to go for work, that she wants to start for a work to do. And then since then, I've never set my eyes on her. When you are a baby? Yeah, after two weeks, after the two weeks of the ceremony, baby ceremony, so she left. And since then, I've never, I've never seen her or hear anything about her. Yeah, she died in August 20, August 16, 2006. I'm staying with my grandma and my uncle right now. Actually, she's asleep. She's asleep. But, but she's old now. She's over 90 now. 90 plus. Here was the good Samaritan that took Jide to where he's learning graphic designing has to say. As, as you are aware of his physical challenges, um, a lot of people, uh, even seeing him for the first time, they, which is the normal thing in Nigeria, in our society, they, they try to treat um, physically challenged people as handicapped, as um, people who are left to do any other thing other than begging. So, and um, by the time I spoke with him, his elder brother, whom I know very well, like I said, from Pedro, where we, where we were, I think, on about two or three streets from each other. So he approached me and he explained everything. I said, well, I've spoken with GD too, and um, he has shown desire to learn graphics, that um, if given the opportunity, he will go places with it. So I now spoke with my colleague, the head of uh, the company where he is presently working. and. Um, he, he, he really pitied his situation. A friend of mine brought him to me. That is uh, Mr. Kende Oshisoya, popularly called in our area as Obema. He brought him to him, me, and uh, it's like, can this guy walk? Can he perform? Will he perform? And he said, I should give him a trial. Then, as I was being called in my area by Paul Lomawewe. I said, let's go there. Then we started. He used to use crutches in the office when he came. Well, with time, all of his friends used to seek that uh, walking stick from him. That you can do this, you can walk. You can see him now. He's walking without the crushes. Yeah. At least they've seized one. He used to. But they seized one. They seized the two. Well, all of them, one way or the other, he collected one back. But he's been instructed now. In the office, you cannot use the crushes there. Maybe use it when you get home or somewhere else. You can walk from morning till night now with the, without, without the crutches. That is part of what I like in that you can do it, then you do it. And he has started doing it since then. Yeah, actually, I started the work around 20, 2017. It was my uncle that assisted me. So I'm working in Nissan Ventures. And since then, I've been, I've been there. I, I grab some something that that is valuable for me, like what I can use for in the future. Something that I don't need anybody to like 
Grand Guy from the work that I can do that can really put me to be a man. So it, it's called Graphic Artist. And I've been there for like three years now. And I'm so, and the boss is so, and he's so wonderful. And he accepted, he accepted me, even though due to my condition, he did not, he did not so bad, he did not like, he did not rejected me. He, he accepted me the way I am. And I'm really grateful for that. He's an easy going guy, industrious and ready to face challenges, ready to work, ready to do or like all it that okay, maybe to invent a lot of things at least. Maybe someone saying that someone says that this thing can never be done or cannot possible. And as he is, he's ready to prove them wrong. That nothing, nothing is possible. Nothing, nothing is, is impossible. impossible. One thing that really touched uh, every other person, particularly the family, the fact that he's very intelligent. Very, very intelligent. Even at um, very tender age, he could recognize anybody. If you're coming from outside, once you speak, he will say, okay. And that's exactly, he doesn't miss. Several people in his condition or similar condition, that have um, been that, that are successful in life, and um, it's still the same thing that is propelling him to to try his best, and um, he's, he's going places. In the in a couple of months, let's say let's say about two years, he he has learned a lot of things, and um, even within the community right right here, a lot of people know him as some Jide some wifey. <laughs> That's because, I mean, he's been selling a particular brand of um, um, wife, uh, express wifey okay. to people and um, a lot of people have been enjoying his services. So aside from that, he also could do, I mean, he could do so many things in graphics right now, though he's still developing. But um, unlike previously, but he needs a lot of assistance. People that are like me, they should not repeat themselves. They should not think that, ah, thinking. Because when you are thinking, it will even damage your body. So thinking cannot be the solution. Rather than to work out and never ridicule yourself and always put God first in everything. Because when I wanted to study, so I always ask God, like, Lord, I want a place that I will be going. Like, I don't want to wait for someone to, like, hey, take this. I don't want to be a beggar. So God really answered my prayer. and. First and foremost, let's put God first in everything we do and everything will be as simple. And they should not ridicule yourself. Like they can still be the future. They can but they have future, better future. But he needs a lot of assistance. He, he, he needs a lot of assistance in terms of his ability to be able to work well, like um, working aids. Then he also needs, after his training, he needs to get a laptop. He needs to get a small area where he could practice his um, design and all that. And I believe that giving the right uh, uh, support, you go places. I cannot say specific, but I I love everybody. He knows the statue of who he is. 
the caliber. And he's friendly to everybody. Hmm. Everybody. Even the offended him. He knows that we we'll still bring them closer to him. Uh, I just want let me just have something to hold on to before getting married. So that when I have my and I have something in hand so I can go forward to get married. But right now, no. Ah, there are many. There are many. <laughs> <laughs> Here are Gide's colleagues. What do they have to say about him? It's scary. It's, I don't know, but that's what I can say about him. It's scary, he's nice, and he loves girls so much with food. Ah, he likes girls too much. <laughs> too, too much. Oh. Maybe that is where he's getting the inspiration from. I don't know. But when the surrounding I think it will motivate him. I started doing a lot of things. I believe we have all learned one thing or the other from Jide's story. Please, if you want to help Jide, kindly contact Jide on this line. He needs help. Encourage him. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.